So today we have some berries, here's raspberries and then grapes and some bananas. He doesn't really like bananas, that's why I just give him like couples so he doesn't eat them at all. I just give him so he can taste them, maybe he likes them today. And then I have uh, oatmeal, so today I was using this one, the Gerber cereal with the probiotic, so I don't have any specific ones, sometimes it's just this one with milk. And sometimes I do with water too, and uh, it doesn't just uh, taste no, it tastes no difference. And I'm going to be adding this one, the Beach Nut uh, Breakfast Yogurt Banana with Strawberry, into the, uh, the bowl uh, with the cereal because he really likes it to taste it that way. Okay, okay, you ready? my breakfast uh, so today I have boiled egg and some uh, tomatoes a little bit of raspberries and here's uh, the slice of bread baguette with my favorite cheese and this cheese we got it's very interesting so it's not for everybody because it has a very um, weird smell to it so that's um, <coughs> that's the name <coughs> tea Excuse me guys, so that's the name and we got this one. Um, okay, here's Coco Melon. <coughs> so we got this one uh, when we went to um, um, when we went to uh, I forgot the name of the <laughs> I forgot the place. Yeah, so the cheese we got it happened on day and <laughs> everything is just like so crazy in my head. Um, I didn't give you the update about Juliet yet. So yeah, that's the cheese and if you like the soft cheeses like from this one it says it's from France and it's soft cheese. It has very mm, strong uh, taste and smell to it. So if you are a fan of these cheeses then you would love you would love it because the um, the quality and the the taste is really really good so i'm gonna have that and i'm gonna feed continue feeding peter and then i'll show you what was left from what he eaten and then we'll head to uh, for coffee i'm gonna go and give juliet some medication because she's uh, a little update like she's not feeling well because of the diarrhea and uh, she's been really like, poor since Monday this week and it's already Friday and I'm still giving her medication and we had to go to the vet um, as I told you I, that was in the previous or maybe in this vlog I'm not sure <laughs> and so I'm gonna go and give her some medication and then give her a little bit of food all right heading to our second breakfast and a walk later so we're gonna get some coffee and we'll go to the park as usual. Uh, right now we're gonna get some coffee, some baguette and some croissant. outside today 
and look at my hair i don't get it if it's if it's looking good or if it's looking horrible completely from one side one side of me is uh, feeling that it's looking pretty horrible <laughs> with this bang the other side of me it's looking mm, feminine does it look feminine to you or it looks horrible yeah once i have a little bit of time so i'll just give you a little bit of juliet's update she was, she's staying at home because we went for a walk and then i put her back home again because i give her a medication and then the day we went to vet uh they said uh, she has some problems so i know it's been a uh, known issue <laughs> for her since she was a puppy and she always had a problem with her stomach whenever he eats something like a cucumber which is falling on the floor like she picks up that from the floor or some piece of veggie like a bell pepper she really loves them it can trigger something weird with her she has like a very severe diarrhea with the uh, okay being honest with the blood and uh, it doesn't just looking good and um it's very yeah sh the doggy is very poor and i always take her to the same vet and he knows what to do with it and the day we went um uh, it was a different lady she was um, there like a vet on call and it was emergency so she said to do a diagnostic for her but I, I, I really know the issue what's going on and they they did the estimate and it came out like 1,000 uh, like 14,000 I think total for everything and it's crazy I'm just yeah it's crazy I'm just like really really surprised again how much that's cost for for dogs and she had already a couple of surgeries because she has a mass in the mouth it, that was like a tumor and uh thoughts were not covered by insurance as well actually she doesn't have any insurance because nothing is covered oh it's a bird nothing is, is covered by insurance so there is no point for for dogs to have that okay <laughs> yeah that was a little update look at this beautiful sky Day is so pretty so we're chilling on the grass <laughs> it's nobody he's trying to catch some birds and squirrels I have to catch him On the way home I give him the leftover from the breakfast or sometimes the full pack if you don't have some and today we have this uh, from the breakfast which is banana and strawberry yogurt sometimes he eats do you want after the long walk so while we are going back home sometimes he eats that and sometimes he doesn't sometimes he throw it away it depends it seems like today he is hungry and we, ha we get a good walk so maybe he'll throw it away but basically he ate it was half of the pack of the pouch so yeah he'll finish it probably by the end of the trip because there is nothing to to eat and then we'll head home um with the same this one is 90 calories <laughs> While I was going home, he actually fell asleep. Look at this little cutie pie. Sleeping with a pouch in his head. I actually have to... I'm not sure if you can hear me. Actually have to take Juliet for a walk. I don't know how. We'll get inside for now and we'll 
Merci. This one, he left a little bit of uh, cereal and uh, it's not much, it's just like a couple of spoons and also he left uh, two slices of bananas, I ate in them so that's why I can show you guys. So it's already uh, lunch time but for us it's already like 4pm, he slept really late and uh, I'm gonna show you what I made for lunch. We got one baguette, our favorite baguette. And Slice it up for us, just a few pieces. Should be good enough. It's um, half of a tomato. I just sliced it in these pieces. It's very soft, even with the skin, so I'm not gonna peel it off. And also, that's for Peter. And also, I made a soup, so I'm gonna show you the soup. In this but I added some zucchini, just one zucchini, and it's in this consistency. I make it a little bit thicker, not like it's a soup, like very thin one. It has pieces of white fish, so I have a catfish, and I made sure that there is no, it's just the fillet, so just made sure that there is no um, bones and everything in here. So it just looks like this. But, uh, I also add, oh sorry, it's very steamy. Uh, I also add onion a powder and a little bit of salt and that's it. So there is basically three ingredients, fish, uh, filet, uh, zucchini and amaranth, which is, which is this one. So that's going to be our uh, breakfast slash late uh, or early dinner. My battery just died on the camera so I'm showing you my breakfast slash early dinner and I'm sorry it doesn't look that pretty because that's the reality of our life right now and I don't have time to make it pretty unfortunately but I have some fish same filet but fried yeah. I also have some mashed potato and I have some uh, yeah. tomato which is really good this is the best tomato I've tried so far and I have a slice of the bread and that's what I'm gonna have for my little snack after I, I'm done with my lunch. This is the a Russian honey cake. It tastes so, so good. It's like really, really delicious. So I'm gonna get cup of tea and we'll um, demolish this one. It's really good. That's what left from the tomatoes, just like from the half of tomato, a couple of slices 
and he pretty much ate them all but usually in most cases he really liked tomatoes so he would eat them all completely and today it was just the tomatoes and a bread because I just simply uh, did not cut any other, any other veggies because I know that he wouldn't eat them if I feed him uh, a soup because he likes the soup and he likes tomatoes, that's what I give him. The little uh, this that might be really weird that I'm showing you like some little hole but uh, for today's video because we are doing some... Um, some of the, what we eat in a day so that's gonna be something inside what we eat in a day and i just wanted to show you what we got we went to uh bye bye baby for the day so uh we got these sandals and we got them in size <clears throat> uh, seven and a half which is pretty uh big for his age but he's wearing it they're a little dusty because we already started wearing them they seem to be really comfortable they are from carter and they have these little dots on the on the sole as well from the inside so they seem to be really comfortable he's really enjoying them <clears throat> so far and i uh also got him socks which is always a good idea so these ones the it was <clears throat> this is eight i think one two three four five no six pairs of socks it's uh 12 to 24 months and there are some whites some blue it was uh, one more pair of blue socks and a uh, very like light blue or teal color socks and these white ones i really love them uh, so the next one oh this is not actually from here <laughs> So the next one is the waffles. I've never uh, actually tried this one, tried giving this one to him, but maybe today I will uh, give it a try. And I tried them myself. They were kind of okay. So I've never tried, uh, given this to him. So that's going to be something new for him and for me to, uh, to understand if he likes this kind of stuff or no. Uh, this one is apple and uh, carrot cinnamon. <clears throat> Not sure how healthy this is, but it is what it is. And we have this uh, plum organic. So I usually get these pouches just for when we travel or when we go for a walk. Sometimes we will eat them. So, and I got some to give it a try because uh, I actually haven't tried these ones and they are with yogurt and only uh bye bye baby they have this uh, on stock so far uh i didn't see them on target or any other places so this one is yogurt the one that i fed him in the morning uh yogurt with banana and strawberry this one is banana apple strawberry not yogurt and this is veggies zucchini spinach and banana so this is very uh, little, so I usually go for like 80 calories or 70 at least. Um, yeah, these or this one is perfect just to make him full a little bit longer. And this one is plum, it's pear, green, bean and Greek yogurt. So I thought it might be interesting too and I did not actually check this one. It's 50, it's very uh, little but it's okay. Like a little snack. <clears throat> and this one is also really nice because <clears throat> he really likes it and for those like little constipation uh, days when he's constipated a little bit so I'm just giving this uh, pouch to him with peaches and he is good like in a couple hours it's again only 45 calories which is not that much and also I have one more it was a four it was three pairs so I already um, used some and I just kept it in this bag just to share with you guys and that's it this is the little hole actually it was two pouches of this one with a yogurt I took this in the morning <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah this is a little uh hole like a, what we also eat in a day also there is one more so excuse my little messy uh, drawer so this is uh mixed fruit uh, that's what i give him sometimes and uh it's dried fruit 
<clears throat> so he would eat that and then the crackers i think we ran out of this one then we have this uh oat and quinoa uh, cereal so cereals i'm gonna be giving them in the morning so that's what i usually do i mix it with milk or water and i have uh, i like to get this power blend uh, which is uh, which has a probiotic and also yeah i have um multiple so this one is almost done uh so yeah i i get like so many of this one i think i have one more right there oh it's a little different i think this is uh still brand new this also has a probiotic i know this uh, blue one it's not organic but i'm not sure how organic the other ones are so that's why i just don't care and i have this whole grain oatmeal cereal which seem to be really good he likes them all he eats them all in the morning or sometimes i give him uh in the evening too before bed um uh just to make him if if he if i don't have any other options then i would go with the this like veggie one for uh for sort of dinner like very very late dinner before bed and he seemed to be fine it makes him uh full for a uh, couple at least couple hours and then he sleeps well and then i have this tether uh track uh, crackers <laughs> with strawberry and beets he really liked them too uh sometimes on the go when we walk or when we uh drive somewhere or traveling then i go and give it to him he also liked the purple ones with the carrots too uh so that's the cereal again oatmeal and uh banana so it tastes like banana uh back there i have a baby uh it's a tea actually but it smells really really bad it's like herbal tea it's uh written in russian so i got it in russian store you can feed your baby with this it's like dissolvable thing um in water so you just add like a few spoons or something it says right here to the water and then you give it to your baby it makes their digestion better it makes them sleep better so it's really good stuff but he doesn't like it because it smells really really badly it's like instant uh, tea and uh, yeah I showed you this one this is like similar to the one which is veggie but this is uh, fruits then we have this one uh it's a yogurt melties he really liked them as well on a go or sometimes uh in the evening before bed so i give him uh, some cereal and also i give this to him like a snack and then we have this um apricots so he just ate one so far he doesn't really like them that much then we ran out of all of our purees i still get this like a first stage of uh, a carrot puree because it makes again for the constipation dates a uh, days <laughs> not days but and uh so it just makes him uh yeah, yeah it makes his stool really really good uh it's it doesn't matter which brand it is just like a carrot puree i mix it with uh all oat milk or no i mean i mix it with uh cereal or i mix it with uh i just give it like plain like this and this is plum i think very very old but it's still still good and also the same thing for strawberry it's a freeze dry fruit crisp he really likes them as well <coughs> and the biggest one i have the multi-grain whole grains with the 60 iron percent is it 60 percent yeah 60 percent of iron it's like a pretty big one plain uh cereal that's what we have yeah and one more of this one <clears throat> i think i've shown you everything from there uh oh yeah and also we have this organic raisin sometimes i give it uh, a little bit to him so he would just eat these organic raisins and of course like fruits and veggies everything else and also i got these ones too it's like raisin covered in yogurt but he doesn't like this at all <laughs> Now he learned how to, uh, hey, the dish, how to put him to the couch, the dish, and then now he knows how to do that, and then he's trying to walk <laughs> right here on the window, too, and it's really, really scary, and uh, whatever I do, 
um, a cooking, doing, I'm in the restroom, then when I hear that he's on the couch, then I have to run immediately, like, immediately. The second, <laughs> the very, very second, so just to grab him and uh, to protect him <laughs> from falling. He loves playing with the toys, with his cars. He has, like, some monster car. A monster truck and also he has the red car he has this like a big one he has the pink one cars are just everywhere see that's the scary part We actually received one thing, which I'm so, so excited about. Yeah, we are going to pick it up. We are going for a walk and we'll pick it up. We'll pick up that thing that I'm very excited and I'll show you guys. The thing I was really, really excited about was the, uh, the phone holder. So you can actually uh, put your phone in it <laughs> and attach it to the stroller and Peter will be watching the cartoons or the cockamelon or anything that he likes and um, myself and Alex, my husband, will be taking the pictures of me so we'll be doing like a photo shoot uh, so that's why I was really excited because I miss my pictures I miss my mm, previous photo shoots and everything so uh, I I thought that might be the solution of the uh, situation and I got the um, I got this thing so this is the thing it's called panda hug it's actually motorcycle phone mount so you can use it for your motorcycle while we're talking I'm watching him <laughs> so yeah that's very very secure because of the motorcycle and bike so you can just like it's jumping back and forth and that's why it's very secure so even if he pulls up like or even he just like smash it it will stay I hope that it will stay because my back back of the phone it's already broken it's broken like in uh, one million pieces the glass is just like all broken I thought it's a case that I have a transparent case and I thought initially it was a case yeah Peter just uh, dropped it on the floor and it got broken everything inside so it's okay it's all right I don't I'm not mad but it just uh, it does not I think it will not survive if we'll just go on the floor again one more time or on the pavement somewhere <laughs> yeah I'm just um, very excited so maybe we'll try it out this Sunday or Saturday so Sunday I thought I'm gonna be filming something um, I have a couple of packages so maybe I'll try to film uh, those uh, for like like a mini haul and then on Saturday maybe tomorrow we'll try to film something um, like a photo shoot thing but we'll see maybe not maybe ne maybe next weekend we'll do okay so we'll go just like we're on a little walk we took this our favorite thing with us but anyway he's just pulling the stroller around that's his favorite thing to do also, I filmed the reel, but the quality, I just checked the quality and I don't really like the quality, how it looks and how it just turned out. So I'm just, the lighting is not good completely, it's just a whole bunch of mess. So, you know, when you film in, the lighting is a key and if that is not right, then everything is just messed up. This actually, this, look at this. Um, cute sweatshirt this actually has uh, a little uh, color but I just hide it I don't like it <laughs> it's white it's like a shirt color 
and I hide it because I don't like it. But it's cute. It's very warm and soft from the inside. It's like fleece from the inside. Thank <laughs> you.